must be wondering how fast the World War I planes could fly. The planes used in World War I were much more slower than the planes used today, and their top speeds were usually just over 100 miles per hour, that is 10 times more slower than the present speeding range of fighter aircraft today. Most could fly only for two to three hours, had only one or two weapons, and some with no weapons installed and were still slow. The speed record of all top 10 fastest fighter aircraft in World War I varies only by a small margin, so let's take a look at these top 10 planes right away. At number 10 is the Henriette HD-7. The Henriette aircraft was a French-origin fighter that made its first flight in summer 1918. It had a Hispanic Suiza 8FB8 cylinder water-cooled engine with 300 horsepower and driving a two-bladed propeller unit at the nose. There was only one aircraft of this model and had a maximum speed up to 135 miles per hour. At number 9 is the Ansaldo A1 Belila. It is an Italian fighter aircraft that made its first flight on March 1917. About 250 Ansaldos were produced using SPA water-cooled line engine with 220 horsepower and driving a two-bladed propeller at the nose and the top speed recorded was 137 miles per hour. At number 8 is Royal Aircraft Factory SE-5. The Royal Aircraft Factory was a British single-seat fighter aircraft that made its first flight on November 22, 1916. About 5,200 SD-5 were built, installed with Walsley W4A Viper V8 water-cooled inline piston, with 200 horsepower driving a two-bladed propeller unit at the nose. Its top speed was 138 miles per hour. At number 7, we have the Spat S-13. Another French fighter aircraft is at number 7 spot. About 8,470 Spat S-13 were built and primarily used by the British and USA. It had a Hispanic Suiza 8 BEC water-cooled inline engine, developing 235 horsepower, driving a two-bladed propeller at the nose, and generated speed of 138 miles per hour. At number 6, we have the Henriette HD-6. The French Henriette HD-6 had a short-lived flying career in early-mid-1919. It was developed alongside Henriette HD-5 and the engine power of this aircraft was a Selman 18Z twin-row water-cooled radial piston developing 530 horsepower. The speed of this aircraft was 140 miles per hour. At number 5 is Ansaldo SVA. A second Italian fighter aircraft on this list is Ansaldo SVA that made its first flight in 1917. Over 1,200 Ansaldos were built until 1920. It constituted SPA 6A engine developing 200 horsepower with two bladed propellers at the nose. The maximum speed of Ansaldo was 143 miles per hour. At number 4, we have the Airco DH4. The Airco was produced in nearly 6,300 examples for the Allies and served as a successful day bomber during World War I. About 6,295 of DH-4s were built and in service between 1917 to 1932. It was made with Rolls-Royce Eagle 8 engine of 375 horsepower and could fly up to a speed of 143 miles per hour. At number 3, we have the Martinside Buzzard. The Martinside Buzzard arrived too late to see operational action in World War I but managed in the period following. About 370 of Martin's site were produced and primarily used by the Royal Air Force. The engine had up to 300 horsepower and could fly at a speed of 145 miles per hour. At number 2, we have the Noller 70. The Noller Model 70 biplane fighter managed just two prototypes before the Austro-Hungarian surrender of November 1918. Only two of Noller's 70 were built, using a Hero 6-cylinder engine developing 230 horsepower with two bladed propeller units in front and could fly up to 149 miles per hour. At number one spot, we have the Sopwith Dragon. The Sopwith Dragon is the fastest record-holding fighter aircraft in World War I. This British fighter aircraft became the further evolution of Sopwith models and future fighter aircrafts that we see today. 
About 200 Sopwith Dragons were produced at that time, and the power of its engine comes from ABC Dragonfly piston developing 360 horsepower while driving a two-bladed propeller in the nose, and the maximum speed recorded was 150 miles per hour. So this is it guys, we hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you so much for viewing and until next time, bye bye.